Good morning. It's another day that the Lord has made. Let us see the living glad. This morning, we want to look at another topic titled Urgent Message. An urgent message. First Corinthians 15 26 said, The last enemy is to be destroyed. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. Our world today is dying of many citizens, knowing that all that live on that wide illusion. The existentialism of the past age for all their hopelessness. At least got one thing right. If God isn't three, life is pointless. You live and you die. And no one in the long run remember you. That is the hopelessness that shapes a lot of society today. Cut your cut loose from spiritual absolutes. Are drifting aimlessly, pointlessly towards death and meaninglessness. The world citizen try to make the best of it, much like the band on it. The Titanic that keep playing, even as the ship begins to sink. Those who do not know Christ invest their life in pleasure, relationship, work, status, and host of other things, none of which last, but they give the illusion of meaning. And sometimes illusions are better than nothing, at least in the mind of those who has who them. But Christianity offers a kingdom without illusion. We have many purpose, truth, and a timely worldwide person to point to. Our world churches, it's deceptive trickers, tricket false philosophy and passion because of it afraid to hold up to the sin that separates us from the creator but holding up leads to immense blessings and we are the only one who can point the way the world needs the knowledge of resurrection more than you know that is why jesus commissioned his disciple to go into the world in weakness weakness of what of one's dead savior standing before them which hold his hand and a promise in his mouth that alone that above every word this word i've ever uttered it is a meaning to the life you have a whole purpose by accepting the risen savior you accepted the risen savior mission they have you did not know that at the time but now you do a desperate blind world wait for truth be a weakness of the resurrection which pulled us from the stinking ship into the genesis the world need that knowledge it is dying without jesus resurrection make it impossible for my story to end in chaos the message this morning you cannot die unfulfilled you are not in the world. The world is not you. The Bible said, Do not be confirmed to the world, but be renewed by his word. The basic elements of life in Christ is to understand your status in him. Many a time, People don't enjoy the positive leverages that is in Christ. And yet, I expose to the world of deception that comes from their own dilemma, their own predicaments, their own situation. They forget that Christ came to silence the negative illusion, the negative aspect of them. They forget that Christ came to draw them closer to himself. The question this morning, what message do you have in you? What is the information you have in you? Is it a positive or the urgent one that we have in Christ? The one we are, we are to enjoy in Christ. 
you are not elucidating whether you are going to be blessed. You are not thinking whether you are going to be blessed. But rather, being in Christ has given you the power, the sense, the spiritual status to enjoy the urgency of His blessing. And we are not just to enjoy it alone, but rather, we are weakness to His blessings. And being a weakness to His blessings, make others to run for the God we serve. Give heed, lest ye fall, and the world mock. Nevertheless, God is watching, is looking, is craving to bless, to protect his own, to stand by you. Give him that time. I pray the Lord will bless his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen.